Hello and welcome to another episode of Lunch with Lisa. I'm Lisa Warner. I'm a master self healer and I teach my clients how to become masterful self healers as well. Today, I thought we could do a nice guided journey within because inside each and every one of us is the well-being we always have been and always will be. We are souls in physical bodies. And as the soul, there's nothing wrong with any of us. And when we can start to see that version of us, we can start to be that version of us. So I invite you to sit back to take a nice deep breath. And if you can allow your eyes to close, please do so that you can see the inner realms. When we close our eyes, this is how we see the inner realms, the non-physical realms that are just as real as the physical realm, if not more real than the physical realm. So as you sit back, just take a couple of nice deep breaths. Allow your attention to come back inside. Letting the external world fade into the background. Just calling your attention home inside to you. You, as the soul, are a grand being of light and love. And as the soul, you chose to come here into physical form to have a physical experience on this beautiful earth. As the soul, you are created to be divine and perfect. The creator thought you were such a good idea that the creator created you. Source, the universe. whatever you want to call it. It is you. The soul. The divine being of light. When you come into a physical body in this society, you are taught that simply being you is not enough. We learn at an early age that it's not okay to be unique. to just be ourselves. We're told that we have to make something of ourselves, that we have to prove ourselves, that we have to better ourselves. So we learn that we're not okay as we are. because we're taught that we have to fit in, we have to do it right. As kids, being ourselves, playing, 
being free. We got criticized, ridiculed, scolded, shamed, blamed, all as a means to control our behavior. We were innocent and open-hearted. until our hearts got wounded time and time and time again, and we closed our hearts. We started shutting ourselves down. We started believing that we're not okay. We started believing that we had to be different than we were. Every time we got wounded by somebody's rejection or criticism, we shut down a little bit more. And every wound we suffered, our dear, sweet bodies, changed themselves to try to help us and protect us from that wound. Every time our hearts got hurt, our bodies were there to support them. But these cellular changes in the body have never been understood. They have simply been called disease. And we have been taught that our bodies are not okay. We have come to the conclusion that our bodies are being attacked by diseases when in fact our bodies are actually functioning exactly the way they're designed to function. They're designed to change form and function. Everything our bodies don't do is meaningful, purposeful. Our bodies are intelligent. Our bodies know exactly what they're doing. But as humanity, we have simply assumed that there's something wrong with our bodies because we have been taught that there's something wrong with our bodies, just like we have been taught that there's something wrong with us. At this point in human history, we are in the midst of the great awakening, the shift of consciousness, where we start to see that being healthy in a sick society has been a real challenge. This is the time in human history where we start to wake up and realize that we are the soul. We are not the personality that has been cultivated by reaction mode. We start to wake up and see that all of the wounds that we have been carrying in our hearts have been showing up in our bodies. 
that it's not our bodies that are the problem, that it's the wounds that we have been carrying in our hearts. That when we start to realize that all of those wounds were not our fault, those wounds were inflicted by parents, teachers, preachers, the government, big corporations. Some were intentional, many were, most were not. But those wounds that we still carry are the things that are causing our bodies to not function the way we want them to function. But the body is designed to do exactly what it's doing. It's showing you the wounds. Your body is your best friend but you've been taught that it's the enemy. You've been taught that your body is broken, that it's diseased, that there's something wrong with it. But there's nothing wrong with your body. Just like there is nothing wrong with you other than that you believe that there's something wrong with you and you believe there's something wrong with your body. Are you ready to let go of those beliefs? They're not true. The word lie is right in the middle of belief, B-E, L-I-E, V-E. Believing that there is something wrong with you is the lie. You are a divine, perfect soul that has come into a body and gotten beat up by this crazy society that we live in. Your body is simply showing the wounds. And when you can let go of all of the beliefs that you are not okay, you will start to see that you have always been brilliant and radiant and wise. you will see that there has never been anything wrong with you other than the fact that you believed there was something wrong with you. Inside you is the well-being you are. When you close your eyes and you focus inside on you, all of the amazing qualities that you are, kind, caring, curious, loving, peaceful, When you focus on who you truly are, you will start to see the lies of the I'm not okay. You will start to clear out all of those ideas that have been taught by society that are not true. You will start to heal yourself. your body will start to heal. When you start to be 
yourself. The light and the love that you are, you will heal. Your body knows exactly what to do, but your body cannot heal itself until you heal yourself. You have to be able to clear out the I'm not okay. Anything that tells you that you're less than, that you're, that you're lacking, that you screwed up, that you're guilty or you should be ashamed of yourself. All of these are lies. They're not true. But as long as you are holding on to them, your body has to reflect them. Because your body is the physical manifestation of who you think you are. You are perfect. You are divine. There has never been anything wrong with you. You have always been perfect exactly as you are. But the society has made you believe otherwise. Are you willing to let go of all of those beliefs? Are you willing to see the well-being you always have been? Are you willing to see your innocence, your purity? Are you willing to see your okayness, your divine okayness? When you look inside at who you truly are, not at who society has made you out to be, but who you truly are. When you look at your soul, at who you are, you can start to be yourself again. You can let go of all of the externally imposed, I'm not okays. And everything will heal. Your health, your wealth, your relationships, your life. When you start to be the full magnificence of who you truly are. That's where the healing is. You don't need pills. You need you. Your body doesn't need fancy medical procedures. It needs you. It needs you to see who you truly are so that you can embody your full magnificence, your full okayness. As you close your eyes and focus inside on your soul, the core of who you are as a being, all of the fabulous qualities and you allow the external world to fade into the background and allow your soul to come forward. This is the shift of consciousness. This is the great awakening. 
when you stop putting others before you and you start to put yourself at the forefront of your life, when you start to embody who you truly are, the healing becomes permanent. You stop believing in the I'm not okays, I'm not enough, I should be different. And you start embracing all of the grand and glorious qualities of you. Everything changes. Are you ready to change the world? by being your true self. This is the ultimate act of healing. Not only do you heal yourself, you start to heal the world. Are you willing to connect inside? To who you truly are so that you can be in your full magnificence on this planet. The world needs you to be all of who you truly are. The world needs you to be your healthiest, happiest self. Healed and whole, and only you can do this. There is no pill that can do this for you. There is no fancy medical procedure that can do this for you. There is no shot that can do this for you. No mask, no anything. You can do this for you. Only you can connect to you, to who you truly are, and start to be all of who you truly are. As you go about your day, remember to close your eyes Take some breaths and focus inside periodically throughout the day. Notice who you are. Don't get swept up in all of the external noise. It's all a distraction. It is all designed to keep you from looking within so that you can, that so that the society can prevent you from being who you truly are. Awakened, masterful beings cannot be controlled. They do not need governments to dictate their lives or their well being. This is why there is so much distraction in the external world, is to keep you from being who you truly are. It's to keep you from standing in your power. It's to keep you beholden to the systems. Keep you relying on the government, on the healthcare system, on the banks. You don't need to rely on anyone else. You need to rely on the universe. You have everything you need at your disposal. You are a grand creator being. You have the ability to create, attract, and manifest 
anything you desire. that you can only do this by being your full self, operating as who you truly are on this planet. You cannot be not okay. It's impossible. But you can believe that there's something wrong with you. You can believe that you're not okay. You can believe that your body is malfunctioning. You can believe the stories that you're told. And you can also start to know your own well being. The well being that is you at the soul level, who you have always been and always will be. You are right now. You are the well-being that you were created to be. Once you clear away all of the beliefs that allow you to think otherwise, you will never be tricked again. You will always be able to be the well-being you are. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to have some assistance in being the well-being that you truly are and seeing through the lies that society teaches us and start to heal yourself because you're the only one who can do this if you are ready please reach out to me i will show you some shortcuts some ways to cut through the old belief systems and connect you to you Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next week, be your true self and create for yourselves a great week. Bye for now.